Let's write the name for Hg2O. First off, we have a metal, a transition metal, that's our Hg, mercury, and then we have a nonmetal oxygen. So we're going to name this as an ionic compound. Let's first write the name for Hg as it appears on the periodic table. That's mercury. Then we'll write the name for the nonmetal oxygen here, lowercase o, and we cross the ending out and we write I D E. So far, we have mercury oxide as the name for Hg2O. But remember, this is an ionic compound and we have a transition metal. So we're going to need to use Roman numerals to talk about the charge on the mercury atom here. So we know oxygen is always 2 minus. So in order for this all to add up to 0, I have net charge of 0, 2 times that 1 plus. That would give us 2 plus, balance out the 2 minus. So we put a Roman numeral 1 here for mercury 1 oxide as the name for Hg2O. We should note that mercury 1, when we talk about the mercury 1 ion, it's Hg, but it's Hg2 with a 2 plus ionic charge. So this all stays together. When someone says mercury 1 ion, this is what we're talking about here. It doesn't really matter so much as we write the name here for Hg2O, but with other compounds with mercury 1, keep that in mind. This is Dr. B with the name for Hg2O. It's mercury 1 oxide. Thanks for watching.